Hello everyone, I'm absolutely delighted to have you here today. I'm gonna show you the junk journals I've just finished and I'm so happy I have. So these are eight journals on a sea ocean theme like mermaids etc. They're all, uh, the inside is pretty much the same, all the covers are different and so I'm going to do one flip through which is very detailed explaining whatever is inside and I'm gonna do another flip through of all the journals in another video but more like quickly so that you can see what's inside each of the journals and then I'm gonna do a third video where I'm gonna talk about the covers of each journal and tell you all the particularities of each of the journal covers and how I made them as well. There are a lot of tutorials. I've made tutorials on most of the things in these journals, like the ephemera, uh, the dangles, the, the beads, the uh, tassels, and some of the book covers as well. So I will put up the links and you can see them in my... Uh, well, on my profile, I've made a ocean journal playlist, so you can see all the tutorials at once. Okay, so let's just get started. Uh, so in this video, I'm just gonna tell you all about all these eight journals and the covers. Okay, so this is the first one I finished. And it's a uh, cloth. It's not just cloth. It's this cardboard. This cloth uh, stuck on the cardboard. There is always one tassel and one long bead like this with a lot of different things on them, especially this that I really like on most of them. Uh, so this journal is pretty simple. And you open it with an elastic like this and a little rock, like a, it's a plastic bead. And you have semi uh, pearls and some uh, buttons, like uh, nacre buttons, some sequins. And this that I've sewn, I have sewn everything before I stuck, sorry, the, this uh, on top. I will do a flip through, so the flip through is gonna be in another video. Uh, but the inside here is different in all of them. So all of them have two pockets, one here and one here. Uh, but these colors are all different in all of them, pretty much. Okay, so this is the first one. And if you have any questions about any of them, Please just let me know and I will answer them, all of them. Okay, so this is uh, my Nautilus journal. This is the last one I finished. I've used, so this is more like rusty. It's all painted. Uh, there's no metal except for these. And I have made a tutorial about this and I've actually painted the wheel and there is some plastic. This is a plastic um, cover thing so that it doesn't get smudged or, or anything. And this is stamped on cloth and then this is a cardboard painted um, book bookmark, I guess. And so the colors are more like, okay, I don't know the, the names of the colors in France, in, in English. Uh, it's more of a deep blue with browns and then it's the same bead that I've used in the one before here with the same elastic cover thing and well it's strange but this one is uh, has got the same colors here and here for the for the the pockets and over here as well. Okay, so that's the Nautilus. The 
The next one is, okay, I need to, to stick this here, but I feel like there's something missing. So I think I might put some lace. Um, I will put it up later. So this is more like darker tones of blue and some lace and it's all dark. So this has been made with um, paper towels that have been just stuck on cardboard and then painted. And well, I don't think you can see it very well, but the paint, so it's acrylic paint and it's uh, irisé. There's like a, <laughs> I don't know the word for irisé, irisé is when you move it with the light and it changes color slightly, you know, like pearls, low oh, iridescent, it's iridescent paint. And I've used also some white to put on the top to look a little bit like waves. And I thought it was really cool. I really like uh, the result. And then inside, so the close closure for this one is very simply this, um, lace trim that I've just attached here with the brad and here we have dark blue uh, pockets to remind that the ocean can also be very dark and mysterious and stormy and yeah so I really really like the color on this one and I really need to attach this I really think that some lace underneath would look really good. Okay. All finished. Um, let me open it quickly. So I've done um, this border inside instead of a um, of a lace white lace border. I thought it looked a lot better. And then I've also added these. Uh, triangles here that I've just got from an order and yeah this is it so all finished we have this one so this one I tried to make a bit of a mixed media canvas uh, kind of journal. Uh, so it's called L'Appel de l'Océan, which means the call of the ocean. And it's got lots of different blues uh, and lovely pearls. Like here you have a Venetian pearl. And these are flowers and you also have some buttons, some uh, bright uh, bees <laughs> here and some pearls I've put some uh, shells a bit everywhere painted it again with iridescent paint and there's some beads at the bottom as well um, the back is with uh, <laughs> I have no idea how to explain this uh, this is texture paste or gesso and a stencil, yes. And then the cover for this one, the closing is with here, let me show you. So it's a bead that has been soon, sewn, soon here in the middle. And then you have this. So if you fill this journal a lot, I've left it like this so that you can just open it more and then the colors here are more representative of these colors they're more um, like darker blue as well and it's the same one over here yeah and the dangle is the same colors again like very different kinds of blues and some lace and some yarn, a little bit of everything. The next journal is called Glass. Glass is a Breton word that means the color of the sea. 
I thought it was just absolutely beautiful because you don't get that many names of colors that mean just the color of the sea. It shows how important the color and the sea is to the Breton people. And this is where I'm originated from. So for this journal, I've used more brass and dark blue accents, like in the Sea Storm journal. And this is a button made out of a wooden pearl. And then this is a link with a um, leather. This is a leather link. And then the beads are brown and brass. And you have this here, that's pretty. And then the tassel is more darker blues as well and a bit of grey and it symbolizes that there's lots of different colors in the sea and i've added this dangle so i had this this over here but it broke so i've changed it and i've added this um which i think is really pretty and yeah so the way i made this cover is with aluminium foil that I've just crunched up and then I've stuck on my cardboard which is always the same um, length and then and then I've just painted it lots of different colors so there's different blues there's a bit of purple as well and then I've put accents of silver on top because it was pretty dark i wanted to have it a little bit more uh silvery than too dark and so in the inside you also have pretty dark pockets like this and this is literally just a photo of the sea from up top like this Okay, the next one is this one. This is the first thing I've made when I was thinking about these junk journals. And it's, um, it's like a patchwork. So I've used lots of different colors. I've used yarn, I've used some lace, I've used a uh, tulle and some uh, shells and like sequins lots of things literally and i've just sewn them all together and then i've put lace on the back so it's sewn to a piece of um this <laughs> potato sack i thought it needed to be really strong and then i've put this lace on the other side so that you couldn't see it and the closure is with a elastic link as well here which is attached with a brad uh not a brad like an eyelet sorry so that it's pretty strong and then it's again this pearl that i really like and it's um just a simple glass pearl that has been sewn here in the journal and this cloth has just been uh, glued onto the cardboard and I've added this as well I thought it was a, a nice idea and you can just put your name or whatever you want here and then we have of course uh, the tassel which has a bit more green because over here we have quite a bit of green I thought so there's more green than in the other ones which I think is quite nice and then we have the bead uh, that is quite light and there is bits of pink and accents of green as well and then there's this beautiful shell and then uh, this is um, stone and then there's this little charm that I made and you have the tutorial online for this as well so it closes like this Oh, and inside it's, I really like this, this is sand. It's a picture of sand and I thought it was really cool because 
what I wanted to do was actually like have the waves. So this is like the dark part of the ocean, which is really, uh, really deep. And then it gets lighter as it comes into the on shore. And then we have the waves here with like the sea foam. And here inside we have the sand from the beach. I thought it was quite a nice idea. Uh, the next journal I made is called Tale of the Sea. And this is the same technique I've used for the sea storm journal, which is here. So I've used um, paper towels that I've just glued on the cardboard and then I've painted it. So as you can see, the colors I've used are really different. Here they're more darker blue and here they're more light greenish blue turquoise more of a island uh, Caribbean feel <laughs> and the closure is quite simple it's just this long link of um, like turquoise color that I thought looked pretty nice with this and there's a turquoise uh, eyelet as well to make sure it's quite strong and then I've used brass um, uh, so I've used brads like brass brads and it's all uh, soon sewn yeah sewn over here as well and this is printed like hand printed on a cloth and there's this uh, light green mermaid uh, cloth that I really like that I've used throughout all the journals and it's over here as well uh, then here we have this is actually uh, plastic it's old plastic beads they're vintage these two um, well this one I bought in a thrift shop so I think it might be vintage as well I'm not sure <laughs> And then this is the same one I've used before and you can find the tutorial online. There's two little uh, shells inside there and some sand from Brisbane, I think. And then we have the tassel and here I've used a silver... I don't know the word for this in English. I thought... Sorry, I'm a bit tired from finishing these. I'm so happy I finished them. It's been such a long day, like, I mean, such a long, such a long, such long months. It's been months. Okay, let me finish this up. Uh, okay, so we have uh, some lace. This is part of some lace. This is yarn uh, that I've, um, like, this three, and you just make a... Thing with them yeah and there's some other more lace here and then when you open it up oh and I've made these with cardboard here on the sides when you open it up because we have this I couldn't put the pocket on that side so I've put it on this side which I think is quite nice and this is wood uh, well it's a wood print on paper or cardboard and here it's the same and it's all been sewn around and let me tell you sewing around this round bit is yes it's very hard took me a while but I think I might be a master now <laughs> okay so this is Tales of the Sea and then we have the last one here and these are like mermaid or fish scales over here we have um, so this is quartz and then we have some silver beads this is a wooden bead that I've painted this is the same uh, charm again and then a little pretty little shell and over here I've used a little silver uh, bead in the middle 
to get the shape, like the round shape. And I don't mind it showing, but if you don't like it, you can just, you know, press together the color, the, these against each other, and then you won't see them again. And I've used more greener colors like this. And then this one was a bit too short, so I've just put a little knot and a little bead. I really like it like this, it's really pretty. And then again here, some yarn. Yeah, like this. And here I actually forgot to put uh, the triangle thing that we've seen. I, I will, I have made a tutorial on how I add this thing uh, here so that you can put anything you want on top. And here I forgot. So what I did is I made an, a hole in the cover, like at the top, and then I put a little brad. So this is a, a mini, sorry, eyelet, mini eyelet. And then I've put a, it's a metallic, like a long metallic thing. And I stopped it here with a sequin and a bead. And then here I made a loop so that I could put this ring and then we could attach whatever we wanted here. So it's pretty strong, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna go anywhere. But I thought it was quite nice because it's quite, you know, it's quite small. It's not as visible as the other triangular ones. So I, I really like this technique. But I think if you do it before, it's better because you can hide it uh, underneath here like under the, under the hidden spine, which is something I forgot to do. Uh, I, yeah, I had already stuck the spine on, so I couldn't put it underneath. Uh, so the way this one closes is quite simply just a length of uh, this beautiful emerald green uh, cloth which is actually the same emerald green cloth I've used here on the cover, if you can believe it. So the way I've done this cover is I've just, I've used a structure paste and a stencil with scale stencil. So I've just pressed the, the, the stencil and then the paste and then when I, I remove the paste so that you would get the texture over here and then I just stuck the cloth on top and then I painted it so that you would have all these different colors with like darker blues and light, light bright greens and whites, accents of white so that you could see the scales a bit better and so that it would get a bit more distressed. So this is the name of my journal, it's called Mermaid's Tale. I wanted this to be here in the middle, but I thought it didn't look so nice. Uh, and I quite like it just simple like this. So that's what I did. And I've used this beautiful paper I found at Action. Uh, these pockets again are all soon or sewn, soon around. And here is the same paper that's been distressed and soon around here. Oh, and this is the only journal that has this. Uh, it was, I had to think about it. I wasn't sure of myself, but I think it's something I will do later on in the future. So what I did is just, I sew, I sew, sew. So <laughs> I have a problem with this verb. Um, uh, this is an elastic band and I've just sewn it like this so that you can put two pens or two pencils or whatever you want to put in there. All right, so this is the last journal of the eight and I'm so happy you've been with me throughout this journey. It's been pretty hectic, literally. It's been like three whole months. I mean, I was on leave for work, from my work. So I just decided to do this. 
and I've been working on these like every day even on the weekends like 8 or 9 a.m. to like 8 p.m. depending on the days it's been it's been absolute madness um, so yeah I'm not doing 8 again ever again <laughs> 8 at the same time it's not it's not a good idea don't do it 5 4 3 3 is better probably uh, and I forgot to tell you about the dimensions so this is 15 and a half 16 I wanted it to be quite um, uh, quite large you know and I wanted it to be this kind of a box thing so that it would protect all the little charms I have inside and this is um, 23 centimeters we have a three centimeters spine which I think is like and um, two inches I think or an inch and a half I'm not sure and then so this as I mentioned is 16 centimeters and 23 and they're all the same um, width and length and stuff so yeah Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video, if you like my journals, if you have any other ideas of other journals that you might want me to do uh, and show or that you want to buy or anything. Just let me know and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!